Greetings and salutations. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to light up an RGB LED with a potentiometer. So this is the same setup from the previous tutorial concerning RGBs and the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and take out a potentiometer. So any component that you take out if you simply uh, hit the R button it will rotate your component. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect one of these terminals. In this case I'll connect um, this is terminal 1, terminal 2 to 5 volts. I'll go ahead and make that red considering it's connected to our power so source. Ground will always be black and this guy here is going to be connected to our analog zero. So the first thing we want to do is we want to read the values that are coming out of our potentiometer. So to do that we need to print those values. So let's go ahead and see if we can program this. And it's going to be the same code from the previous tutorial. I just changed it up a little bit since red, our red wire is connected to pin 11. The blue wire is connected to pin 10. We set it equal to pin 10. And to make a variable we type in int. So int is for integer. And this is an integer because it's a number, a numerical value, a whole number, an integer and green is connected to pin 9 and so we set those as outputs because they're outputting information they're outputting light now we also need to include our potentiometer so instead of typing up potentiometer I'm just gonna say pot and it's connected to pin analog 0 so a naught and one other thing we're going to do, and I'll show you what this is for in a minute, is we're going to create a new variable, an integer variable, and this variable is going to be called value. Uh, I'm not going to set it to anything because it's just an integer that we're going to use, or it's just a variable that we're going to use to store integers. It's a variable that we're going to use to store information that's coming out of the potentiometer. So in order to print the values that are coming out of your potentiometer, you need to activate the serial monitor. So to do that, you just simply type in serial.begin and the baud rate is 9600. And let's go ahead and see if we can read those values. So our values are gonna read, and to read values, we use analog read and it's going to read values coming from our potentiometer. So this variable that we typed up beforehand is storing the information that it's reading from the potentiometer. So now let's go ahead and see if we can print that potentiometer. We're going to print it on a new line each time, so we'll print ln and let's print the values. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we print our values. So analog was not declared in the scope. Oh, I spelled analog wrong. Alright, cool. Let's close that. Alright, so if I take a gander at my serial monitor, all you gotta do is just click on the serial monitor option here. Notice it's at zero. If I rotate my potentiometer, my values are going to increase. So they increase from 0 to, let's see, I'm going to rotate this slowly. They'll be increasing from 0 all the way to 1023. So now we're going to use that data to light up our RGB LED, either red or blue. So the RGB can only stand Let's go ahead and stop simulation here. Your RGB can only withstand not voltage of 1023, but a uh, voltage of max of 255. So we're going to have to scale down this max number here of 1023. And to scale something down or up, or just simply to map values from one to another, we're going to use something called map. So we're going to map values the minimum value is going to be 0, its max value is 1023 because that's what it reads from our potentiometer. And we want that to correlate directly to 
min value of 0 and a max value of 255. So let's test this out. And so what we're going to do is we're going to change red. So let's go ahead and do analog, not read, but write. And I want to change the red color based on the value. And the value this time is going to be 255. It's going to map 255. Actually, just to show you that, I'm going to go ahead and print the new value. Let's see what happens here. Sorry, it seems we could have some errors. So I need a semicolon, obviously. Foolish man. All right, negative two fifty five, one fifty five, one fifty eight, one twenty seven. So as I rotate it all the way to the end, zero, it turns off the LED. And as I rotate it all the way to its max value, it brightens red. So it goes from fully bright red to completely off as I rotate my potentiometer. So I'm lighting up an LED kind of like a switch light, right? So let's see if we can add another kind of uh, dimmer for a different color. So let's say we have blue. But this time, instead of putting Val, because if we just put Val, then the max brightness will be over here at the at the larger end at 255 along with red so red and blue would be lighting up together at the same time which is something that we don't want so we want to kind of invert that relationship so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say 255 minus val and so when value is at zero so when red is completely off then the blue will be completely on because 255 minus zero will be 255 so that will give max or uh, blue its max brightness and vice versa if this is at 255 max brightness for red and this is at 255 then 255 minus 255 will give you zero which gives you pretty much no blue but fully bright red so they're kind of inverted so let's see if oh, I forgot the semicolon let's see if that works so right now we're at blue max blue because it's at the full end of the spectrum and as we rotate notice it gets purple directly in the middle because it's meshing both the blue value and red value and as we rotate further to its max value of 255 it gets fully bright red so that's how you can mesh two colors so let's see if we can add another kind of uh, dimmer for a different color. So let's say we have blue. But this time, instead of putting val, because if we just put val, then the max brightness will be over here at the, at the larger end at 255 along with red so red and blue would be lighting up together at the same time which is something that we don't want so we want to kind of invert that relationship so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say 255 minus val and so when value is at zero so when red is completely off then the blue will be completely on because 255 minus zero will be 255 so that'll give max or uh, blue its max brightness and vice versa if this is at 255 max brightness for red and this is at 255 then 255 minus 255 will give you zero which gives you pretty much no blue but fully bright red so they're kind of inverted so let's see if oh, I forgot the semicolon 
let's see if that works. So right now we're at blue, max blue, because it's at the full end of the spectrum. And as we rotate, notice it gets purple directly in the middle because it's meshing both the blue value and red value. And as we rotate further to its max value of 255, it gets fully bright red. So that's how you can mesh two colors.